What's going on guys? It has been a very long time. If you guys don't know me, I am Charles Sarita, owner of Function Factor Formance, and we are in our new location about five minutes south of our old shop here in Scottsdale, Arizona. We've got a brand new BNR 600 unit here and we'll be talking about that real shortly, but I wanna give you guys a quick update of what's been going on. We did move shops. We are next to the air park now and we'll be getting some lifts in here and having a grand opening, so stay tuned for that, guys. Behind me, of course, we've got our 2016 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. There has been some crazy changes to it. The carbon fiber wide body on it. Finally, after a year and a half, we got our Advan GTs in the front. We've got an FDF angle kit, and of course, we've got the EMS. 2.0 engine in this bad boy and we want to make all of the power with this unit and if we get to it with nitrous as well. Couple new updates for 2023 on Function Factor Formance. We have a new website design. So I've been spending a tremendous amount of time on the website. We've got some cool drop downs, mega menus, some fun stuff for you guys to explore. And additionally, we've created some more informational pages about the Mustang EcoBoost. Last thing to note, we haven't been making these videos because we've been really focused on revamping a lot of things on the website and on the business side. And I've spent almost 365 days doing that. And I guess we're finally finding a good point to stop and get back to these educational, informative, and fun videos. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into this and introduce our brand new BNR 600 bolt-in turbocharger for the 2015 to 2023 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. We do have a brand new unit. This is completely out of the box. This is a sponsored unit, so thank you BNR and thank you Brian for this unit here. There is nothing different than what comes in your kit. I wanna be clear about that. There's nothing set up, there's nothing special here. This is what you're going to receive when you purchase this turbocharger. Let's get in depth with this turbocharger here. So, we've got our massive compressor housing here with our three and a half inch opening, just like the NX2, so you will be able to use your UPR DVCC catch can adapter that goes on here. This right here, you're looking at a 58 millimeter two point arrow billet aluminum compressor housing right here. And you've got a ported shroud and you've got this beautiful billet aluminum compressor inside of here. The arrow in here is a two point system, meaning in the layman's terms, it's gonna sound really cool. So if you guys know what a T51 mod is or what a T51 in general is, it has that really cool spool sound. You know, if, you, if you're a diehard Supra fan, you're gonna be able to hear this turbo really well. And I've heard tons of reviews from customers already that they love the sound of their BNR. And if you do have a cone filter, you're definitely gonna hear this turbocharger inside of your Mustang. If you don't want that turbo sound, if you don't wanna give away yourself, then maybe keeping the stock air box might be for you. Speaking of that, with our massive compressor, this thing flows over 70 pounds per minute. So this turbo is going to make some serious power. This thing has the capability of making over 600 wheel with the right configuration. We'll talk about that motor to get to that. With 70 pounds per minute, I mean, you're, you're pushing some serious air. This car does have a head of fold, so we do have our restrictions and there are certain mods that we have to do to make it happen. To talk a little more about the CHRA of this turbo, the center housing rotating assembly, we've got 58 here and flipping over to the back side, we do have a 76 millimeter turbine housing. This is the part that's making all the power over here. I do wanna know it is single scroll. We are going to be doing a lot of road testing, and I mean road racing testing and drifting to see what the response is on the single scroll unit compared to the OEM twin scroll. Guys, remember this is a bolt-in turbocharger. That means that there is zero modifications needed. There's talk among the community that you do have to grind the block. We have come up with a solution to make sure you don't have to do that anymore. Because this housing is so large and the turbine section is so large, it used to make contact with the block, but now we've got a spacer that moves that turbine housing out away from the head of fold. One good thing to note here, this wastegate makes 19 PSI 
base from the factory. So there is no need to upgrade this unit here. I've had a ton of customers ask me about this. Do not upgrade this. So the wastegate that comes with here is already pre-configured for 19 PSI base, because we already know you're gonna run over 30 pounds if you have this thing. So like a true traditional bolt-in turbo, again, no modifications, all of the water and oil points in this turbo are gonna be stock location. There's not gonna be any difference between the OEM unit and this, I'm sorry, we don't have an OEM unit, it's somewhere buried. The biggest thing here is that this thing just makes more power at the end of the day. But what I wanna know personally is when it makes the power. When in the RPM range is this thing gonna be fully spooled? And when I'm sideways in this, especially with this gripped up setup that I have here, am I gonna to have to drive it really aggressively? And I'm gonna be able to just go roll in the throttle or am I always gonna be having to clutch in? So I'm really curious of how this larger unit is going to respond here. But all I know is I'm sure when it comes online, it's gonna be an absolute blast. So let's talk about our accessories over here. So this is what comes in the box here. This is our plate here. So this makes sure that you don't have to grind the block. We want to be truthful to that bolt-in statement. We do have another OEM gasket in here. All of these are stainless steel water and oil transfer lines. And more importantly, things that I have been yelling about in the industry since day one, you get instructions. How convenient. Notably, there is a certain way that these lines go together. Most people honestly are going to be assembling this with the block out of the car. A lot of people buy the EMS motors, they want to upgrade the turbo, so they put the turbo outside of the engine. It's going to be a cakewalk for you to put these in. But if you're doing it inside the car, you need to properly route these. If you don't, you're going to fight these every single time. So make sure to read these instructions that Brian has written, and we're going to show you guys how to install these. I don't want to go too in depth with this install again just like we did with Jacoby's car. We're gonna do a very quick overview of the install of this turbocharger. If you guys do wanna know how to install a turbocharger, we have two 40 minute videos of how to install a OEM and an NX2 turbocharger on this vehicle. So we're just gonna go over quickly and some highlights of Alan putting the turbo in this. But one thing I do wanna show you guys is the plate, this oil uh, return feed, and the oil and water lines here because they are not OEM. And again, there's a procedure to do it. All right, guys, we're gonna be talking about, finally, I'm sure this is gonna be a hot topic here. I love precision. I love BNR. I got no bias here. I'm sponsored by both. I love both of you guys, but we're gonna do it for the video right here. So we've got a TurboNetics Precision NX2 Bolton Turbocharger and we've got our BNR 600 bolt-in turbocharger. And I'm not gonna say versus because both have their own purposes. This is a quick light off turbo. It makes 520 horsepower and it does it reliably at an extremely low RPM, which could be dangerous to a block. But if you want a road race and you want an autocross and you want extra power, this is your bad boy right here. Let's do a direct comparison right away. So let's address the elephant in the room. The number one difference between these two turbochargers is gonna be, the BNR 600 is a single scroll unit, whereas the NX2 is gonna maintain the OEM twin scroll side on the turbine. To be technical about it, a twin scroll turbine is gonna spool faster than a single scroll unit, as this is taking pulsations from exhaust one, four, and two, three, and basically accelerating it to spool the turbo faster, where this is relying on all of the exhaust pulsations to spool this big turbine. It's a much larger turbine side than this NX2. We're gonna be doing a lot of testing, real world testing. The dyno only tells us so much. The dyno is a tool. Everybody can go out and say, I made a thousand wheel, I made 500, 600. It doesn't matter until you're on the track and showing some true numbers and especially real world usage. We're gonna be taking this car to a proper racetrack we'll be taking it to a dedicated drift track. And again, I do drift, so I'm really curious to see how this car operates with this extremely grippy setup and single scroll on the BNR. So another thing here to note, the arrow. So the arrow on this turbo, you have a two point system versus the NX2 only has one. The counts on the blades affect the power output and the sound. This thing sounds like a jet, this thing sounds quieter than OEM, unfortunately. This is pretty loud on my car because I do have a cone filter, whereas this is going to be insanely loud. I'm really excited to hear this on my full race setup. I believe the full race intake is gonna be extremely loud uh, with this two-point arrow setup on this. 
and we're gonna show you a close up here of what I mean the two point setup. You can see the TD06R modified blades inside of here that is gonna create a lot of horsepower. A big thing to note between these two again, going over the wastegate. This comes with a base 10 pound wastegate. Well, if you do some math, we can only use 2X of the wastegate, right? So if I got a 10 pound wastegate, I maybe can make 22, 23 pounds, pushing that wastegate all the way to its max. Well, the car uses 27 pounds even on pump gas. So no matter what, we have to upgrade the wastegate, which is an additional $229, correct? So this is our FFP spec turbo smart wastegate here. And then BNR addressed that issue. So we have a night, we have a base 19 PSI wastegate on this turbo. So there is no need to upgrade the wastegate on that. Another big thing, note, let's flip it over. We have a sand cast versus a poured cast. So the sand cast obviously looks a lot more sexy on the NX2. You've got this versus that. This looks great. Eh, this could be better. There's things that this does better and there's things that this does better. Again, it's what purpose you wanna use it for or do you wanna make a lot of power in drag race? Cause if you're sitting on a two step, who cares about lag? If you have rolling anti-lag, again, who cares? I think that the EcoBoost makes enough torque to spool this thing. I think the difference, my prediction is gonna be about a 400 RPM different. And I do have really, really big cams in this car. So we're gonna see when this thing lights off. Cause I honestly think once I kick, it's just gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna light up. We will be dyno testing this turbo as many times as possible to make sure this tune is perfect and making as much power as humanly possible because we do wanna air this sucker out and we wanna see what it's truly gonna make. Let's, uh, let's keep twisting this thing to see some differences. So again, both units are bolted. There's gonna be very minimal differences here. To kind of conclude the statement, you know, physically, obviously the BNR is about 5% larger due to its more power output. The snail on the compressor is a little bigger here, not by much, but inside you can clearly see that the compressor is much bigger than the NX2. And again, to kind of wrap it up guys, both units are fantastic. Customers love their BNR, customers love their NX2. This bad boy right here starts at 1859, where this starts at 2099. So there is a price difference. You do pay for dual ball bearings versus journal bearing. That's gonna be your main difference and the twin scroll. So again, road racing, drag racing, who knows drifting, but we're gonna find that out. So guys, I hope you found this video informative about the BNR 600 and a quick comparison to its little brother, the Turbonetics NX2 here. I wish we can make more of these videos, who knows, maybe my time will free up. I wanna get this car back on the road. It's been down for a hot minute. I do miss it. And the only thing that it needs quite literally is this thing in it. So I hope you guys learned a little about the BNR 600 turbocharger for the Mustang compared to its little brother here, the NX2. You guys have any questions, please, please leave a comment, ask some questions. You know me, I engage all the time. Um, if you guys, again, wanna show some love, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'm gonna try do these a little more consistently, but stay tuned because we're gonna go back to the dyno at BMR and show you the results of our BNR 600 turbocharger. Holding the fart.